I'm not really sure what's on the GoPros and whatnot, but this is the truck so far. Uh, the fuel regulator is on there. I saw some people, they swapped this around and then just made a line to go from here. But this is off a of 09 uh, new, new body style truck. So this connector, this is the one off the, uh, this truck, it doesn't fit. And it looks like this is gonna be a pain in the butt. I still got to find another fitting for the, I think this is the breather that goes into the valve covers and the throttle body. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the injector connectors, because these are not the same. This is a 90 millimeter. This is a 78, so the difference is there. The bed is off. Rudy over at Pinche Bay Racing does uh, C-notch frames. So I'm gonna hit him up after he uh, builds me a fence uh, back there. Let's see what all we can get, get going. Now I wanted to switch all this to A in lines. I don't know what I'm doing there. I did get the gauge in. Uh, air fuel gauge. But that is where I'm at right now. I'm trying to finish up the baby room. For when girl Kirby comes flying around. But I'm still working on it. What I think I'm gonna do today is get this situated and then get the HP tuners washed up. So what I did was um, I took this out and then I cut out a piece to get all the cables and stuff in. Not sure if you can see all in there. And it's mounted in there. And when I'm ready to put it back in, put it back in. And we're good to go. I said clamp the wires again. And this, I have. This was a um, a piece to the intake, the cool air intake that I got off eBay. I like the finish, and it should be big enough to put on here. So I'm probably gonna do that. I did do some, uh, well, I did do some rearranging in here. It's all messy again. This is what the panel is gonna look like. Um, I'm liking it. Looking pretty good. Got HP tuners right here. Take it out, put it back in. This just goes into there. And now when I hook the laptop in, no wires are on my way, which is great. Look at all I've done. I just have to put the dash lower part back in and then uh, cut this out. It is hitting a little bit right here, so I mark my line and gotta shave it off. I haven't had that much time to do it, but it's getting there. So with this back on, you can't really see anything. Kind of clean rather than it being here and the wire go all the way to where it needs to be. Now it just goes here to the laptop. cleaned up tomorrow I think I'm gonna clean everything out I might do that right now because it's pretty messy this part is just about done actually it is done so I did some cleaning it is back to being a truck again which is pretty nice so as y'all saw it last time this is in there pretty Pretty decently. Good news, Glenn's, Glenn, Glenn's auto performance makes 
plug and play adapter kit for them. So these should get here like Wednesday. Uh, only other problem is this in uh, map sensor doesn't fit. But they say you can just put a bigger grommet on there and it works. And then I'm gonna cap this off right there. And then for my fuel side, uh, I had this C5 regulator from the 190 swap and I got a 150 degree on both sides for the fuel. So this is going in from there and then it's looping back around to go to the fuel rail. So I'm getting closer to being able to start this again. But uh, it's becoming more pleasant to get inside this thing, which I like. All right, so these came in finally. Well, not finally, came in pretty quick. These are the adapters to go with the new body style injectors to fit on. Please work. So that clips onto the injector. This is the new connector for it. We are golden boys. What I think I'm gonna do now is pull this off and uh, the next video it's just gonna be me cleaning up the wiring for it so I can get clean this up because this is a hot mess and this paycheck I should be able to get a uh, throttle body for this and see where that takes me